kabar semua? It's Rachel and today's dessert is cendol. Hello guys, today I'll be painting this dessert called Chandol. In the meantime, I would love to share more Malaysian food with you guys as well. I cook sometimes but I never really made any desserts. Once in a blue moon I bake but it fails all the time. The last time I baked was a banana bread and I burned it. So I guess I better stick to art. So about chendol. Chendol is a dessert that contains shaved ice, served with palm sugar syrup, drizzled with pure coconut milk, red kidney beans, and what makes chendol so special is their droplets worm like jelly greens. Sounds yummy? Chandel is commonly found in Southeast Asia and is a very popular dessert. Some folks even willing to travel far just to get a bowl or two of the famous Chandel dessert. I'm painting my bowl with grey cause it is commonly served in a metal or a plastic bowl. I like my Chandel in a metal bowl. But hey, no complaints. What contains inside that counts. I'm painting the shade of the brownish palm sugar, leaving some negative space as the chandol was drizzled with coconut milk and palm sugar. Many of us order our chendol with sweetened red beans, also known as chendol kacang, which means chendol with red beans. Some also serve it with extra toppings, such as glutinous rice, cream corn, sliced jackfruit, or even fancier with the fruit king durian. I would recommend to taste chendol in their traditional way, which is this chendol kacang. Chandel is actually referring to this green worm shaped jelly. If you order a bowl of original chandel, it normally serves only with the shaved ice, coconut milk, palm sugar, topped with chandel, which is this worm jelly made by pandan leaves and rice flour. The worm jelly doesn't really have much taste to it. It has a slimy smooth jelly texture with a slight pandan taste. The texture from the worm jelly complements the dessert. It is not chandol without the worm jelly.
Chendol has a delightful taste that melts in your mouth. It is cooling, creamy, coconutty, and you have the fragrance from the pandan and the sweetness of the red beans and palm sugar. You mix them all together and you have a smooth, creamy, rich, absolutely awesome taste. The funny thing is that they really look like a bunch of cute worms and bugs hanging around on a bed of chill ice mountain. But don't worry, they taste really good. My brother really loved them and would not miss it whenever he comes back. If you travel to Malaysia, be sure not to miss this humble dessert. Malacca and Penang is the most popular spot for chendol. But chendol are widely sold around Malaysia. It is not difficult to spot a chendol vendor, with their pop-up tent, vans and even motorcycles along the roadside. I believe it is safe to say that Chendol is cherished by many Malaysians and do try them when you spot one. One thing for sure, you need to eat it on the spot. Don't take it away, basically consume them before it melts. They contain coconut milk, and coconut milk tend to turn sour easily. So refresh yourself with a bowl of chendol on a hot day. If you like my video, please give this a thumbs up and comment down below on what Malaysian food you want to feast your eyes with. I hope you guys enjoy watching me creating this dessert and if you are craving for more doodles and art inspiration, be sure to follow me on my social media at jr one fine day and subscribe to my channel as I will be making more art videos. Thank you for your stay and have a one fine day.